Could you first start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Tell us about your current position and your academic background. I'm Andaman, but people usually call me Andy. Right now, I'm a process engineer at Procter and Gamble at one of their manufacturing facilities in Belleville, Ontario. Um, I graduated in major engineering in the middle of the pandemic. I graduated from materials engineering department as a process engineer at my current workplace. I generally get to work around 6:15 a.m. because how manufacturing environment works is that the measuring site runs 24/7. So you have two 12-hour shift for the operators to carry out the operations on the line. I will have to go there before 6:30 a.m. to talk to the operators from the night before to ask them how's the line going, like how was their night shift, and then see what problem they have. Mm-hmm. And then at 6:30 we'll have like a meeting to decide what plans we're gonna have to tackle like the problems we're gonna face for the for the day ahead. So basically. The environment that I currently work at is always、uh, is super fast paced and it's always changing because anything can happen. So it really depends on how the line runs. And what are some of the current projects you're working on? I make sanitary pads for a living. So and it's something really interesting that I noticed. Like in a manufacturing facility where they make feminine hygiene, like feminine、mm-hmm. care product,、mm-hmm. most people there are dudes. So basically,、yeah. think about it. Your pads are made by a lot of dudes and some and not that many girls. Yeah, you see, like dudes actually looking at like pads, checking the quality.、Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was very interesting. I'm, I'm doing a lot of like learning. I have to learn a lot of like how the whole process works. So at this point, a couple of big projects is like creating a lot of like standards because in、uh, such a big company, they value really good standards, practices, and ensure that like the whole operations run really smoothly. So really good standards, a big thing that、uh, the company takes pride on. Right. So I'm there creating a standard and like ensure enforcing that they, you know, they're being followed. You could say something. Some of your favorite thing about material engineering is just get people interested. What would you say about that? I got into materials engineering, but even knowing like what it was. But、right. once I took the intro to materials engineering class, that was a course that actually sparked my interest towards materials engineering. Learning what the steel structure looks. It's like like now these days, graduating from materials engineering, you start looking at fracture surfaces with with a different eye. You、yeah. start looking at steel and understanding what it looks like in the microstructural level. Like that's super interesting. And one thing about materials engineering is that it's like the basis and the foundation of other things because everything it's like built off of material. Like you know that by changing certain things in material, you can change like the mechanical property, so forth and so on. So I think materials engineering is very it's definitely very interesting, and you can do a lot out of it. And there's a lot of like like new technologies. That actually based off like、uh, material engineering research, and those things are super interesting. That's what kind of like got me staying in, and I got interested in materials engineering. And there's a lot of job opportunity out there. It might not be super direct, as you see, because not a lot of jobs just say they want a materials engineer. But you know that let's say right now. I learned a lot about manufacturing back in my materials engineering degree, and、mm-hmm. right now I'm working in a manufacturing and setting. And what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of Different path you can go with material engineering.、Right. That what makes it super interesting. That's awesome. Moving on, what are three habits or skills necessary for highly successful engineers? I don't exactly use what I learned in school. There was one time they told me to、uh, go get a wrench, and then I didn't know what size to get. I took the、yeah. whole little box and、mm-hmm. then just dump it there. I'm like, please pick. But then now, like after a couple of months, I can look at a bolt and be like, yes, that's 13 millimeter wrench.、Mm-hmm. I I, f- I felt like really accomplished to like be able to like change out yeah change out parts like doing stuff that usually they don't teach in school as well. But I think the mindset and like the critical thinking and then like organizational skill transferable skill that you form in school and during engineering school definitely is super useful. Like engineering school pr- definitely prepare you for like these kind of like really mentally and physically demanding jobs. I think that that's the reason why they probably may take like seven or like yeah, so many courses because you know it's a really good training and like even the mot- motivation to like do do really well because for my current job, basically it's a type of job where I went in and then I also have like responsibility right away. Like you you went in and you deal with people and you also manage a group of people, so like teamwork is really important, right, right. especially when you have to manage.、Uh, A team of operators and technicians, and they're all from like different background, and you have to like earn their respect somehow because right, you're right. technically their boss. What are some of the challenges in deciding a career path? Did your goals or plans change during your studies or once you had started your career? 
knowing what you like actually because right. what you yeah what you like may not be what you want so so it's more like i know that i like working with people i don't like working like doing highly technical jobs sit on the desk sit on the desk all day the nature of my job is that i spend let's say 60% or 70% on the line and 30% of the rest of my day i have to do like documentation and like use right. my computer but then i saw the line having problem i walked down the line i know that i don't want to sit all day so right right that's why like you need to know like what like what type of environment you really want to work for mm-hmm. so say let's say you want to work with people you want to like sit all day you want to work something technical you want to be in like you know consulting or in management so definitely like knowing what knowing what you like and in terms of like a work environment it, it really like makes you hate or don't mind your job when i'm there um i like i get to like do stuff right away but I enjoy being there for sure that's good that's good so what was the most memorable university experiences for you you know how in engineering school you you have like your study group of friends mm-hmm. new friends with, okay. yeah like everyone kind of does the same thing like you know everyone takes the same classes and everyone does the same thing and you always like try to help each other out like basically people in my class because we have really small classes in materials engineering and then uh we always try to like you know help each other out because we all know that what we're going through it's difficult and we ha- like mm-hmm. we kind of grow through it together that's one thing like i miss the most about like school is because it's like little community that like yeah. everyone knows look at each other like yes i see pain in your eyes me too <laughs> <laughs> and then we all just understand <laughs> Yeah, I totally I, relate to this. Um, just kind of wrap up. What is your favorite part of uh, being an engineer? It's, it's definitely the ring. I'll tell you. Yeah, that's something you wait for. That it's it's worth it. Yeah. So unfortunately, I don't get to wear it at work, but I put it in my pocket, and then once I'm done with it, I put it back on. Aww. On a serious note, is that like knowing that you're doing something useful, that that like you're solving concrete problems, and and despite. Uh, the problem being challenging like i don't know i i like being challenged and it like really motivates me a lot like you know these challenging events and once you've managed to overcome it it's just it's a very like satisfying feeling even engineering school like when you manage to like do something like a really difficult course and you do really well you feel really good right yeah. and in like and in work environments the same thing like you tackle like the problems are really difficult you spend a lot of hours looking at the same thing trying to figure out why and once you solve it it's, it's super fulfilling and then You know that your like let's say in my job at least like you know that your solution uh, worked right away like you see it happen in your own like in front of you like mm-hmm. right away so that's a very like satisfying part of my job at least 